Well, in just a couple of weeks, it'll be illegal for Minnesotans to hold cell phones in their hands while driving. The new law goes into effect on August 1st. Local defense attorney Mike Bryant from Bradshaw and Bryant here to explain what drivers can and cannot do under the law and how to start preparing for it now. Welcome. Good to have you here today. Hi, how you doing? How does this law differ from what we have now in place? What's in place well, now? Before you couldn't text and drive. That was the main thing. Then they also had careless and they had reckless, so they could always find other things. Now it's clear you can't have your phone in your hands unless it's an emergency or one t one touch that's it you can't you're not supposed to have it in your hands. so that's the explanation of how this new law is different all right how can drivers start preparing now start figuring out how you're going to keep it out of your hands either don't use it or figure out ways to use your uh, voice activation system so you don't have to do anything that would uh, touch the phone are these laws hard to enforce? They shouldn't be. Yeah. I mean, you see people on the phone all the time. They're not allowed to do that. And you're not allowed to do that at a stoplight. So people who think they can stop at a stoplight and do that, that's not allowed either. You got to pull over, you got to not be controlling the car, and then you can do what you want on your phone. When we address, you know, does a law go far enough, uh, do a comparison to other states that have this There's law. some states that just say, get rid of the phone altogether. You can't use your phone. Please see you using your phone. That's it. I think that's but California that's, that way. There's yeah. some cases, there's a number of states like that. We're one of 14 states that says that you can't hold your phone because they want to allow for hands-free. And if you stick to hands-free or do something else, then you'll be okay. What's your concern now? Well, the concern will be people have to learn, and we also have to show our kids that this is what we're going to do. You can't have kids asking you more, well, you do it, or you try to do this. Got to stop using it. Can't have that, that phone in your hands while you're driving. Do you suspect some of the technology that these cars increasingly have uh, are adding to all this distraction? I mean, oh, absolutely. I mean, we, we were into gadgets. And yeah, abso yeah, absolutely. We were using our phones for all sorts of things while we were driving, and it just adds, it takes your, your eyes away from the road, and, and that's the problem. Why do you think there isn't uh, like a uniform thing? Do they leave it to the states to decide this? Why with something this important and, it, and so important for public safety, this isn't in all 50 states? Every once in a while Congress looks at it and looks at it federally, but it's been one of those states items that they looked at mm -hmm. and different states with different lobbying efforts have done different things and sometimes it depends on who's on what side or what legislature is in control. Does it save lives? Do we have that? Absolutely. At, at, More people that? are dying today because of people using cell phones and driving distracted because it takes your, your eyes away from the road. So it's like being blindfolded for 40 or 50 yards. And states that have enacted these have an, a drop in that. Then. Have seen That's a drop, in correct. Thank you uh, today. Uh, good, good information for all of us to chew on here. Thank Got you. Got a little bit of time. Get ready for it. Uh, you bet. Just a little less than two weeks now. Uh, as always, you can find additional information on the topic at care11.com. Look under the 4 p.m. show page.